So, okay, class. Good afternoon. Hello? Good, good afternoon, afternoon, sir. Oh, good, good afternoon. afternoon sir. Okay, good so afternoon, sir. today is our week nine. Is it correct? Um, um, because I think the next week is your midterm exam already. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, pa. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, yan. Nakikita yung screen? Can you, dis yes, can you see the screen? Okay, so today is our ninth week and our topic is computer engineering focus. Okay? So, as a computer engineering major, there are several things you can focus on. So, number one is the systems engineering. An interdisciplinary field of engineering and engineering management that focuses on how to design and manage complex systems over their life cycles. At its course, system engineering utilize, utilizes system thinking principles to organize this body of knowledge. The individual outcome of such effort, an engineered system can be defined as a combination of components that work in synergy to collectively perform a useful function. So this is an example. What did you notice on the diagram? It's like a cycle, sir. Mm -hmm. And? Uh, so, yes. What? Uh, the bridge, sir. Very it's good. Like it's connecting other. Ano, ano. Okay, very good. So the system engineering acts as a bridge or he is bridging the connection between user and the system developer. As you notice, um, the user has a for operational needs. Okay, then the system engineer, engineering, um, he do the concept, principles, and practices for that operational needs requirements to be sent to the system developer. Now, the system developer will start the hardware engineering, software engineering, specialty engineering, which will lead to solution for the needs of the users. So, he acts as a bridge, okay? Uh, yes, sir. so it's like a, uh, it's like making uh, making your concept true. So like when you thought about something, and then you give instructions to yourself on how to actually get that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And it's, oh, and okay. Here you go on. So, so as soon as you make that, uh, make those concepts and what you need, like. Like over here says hardware engineering, software specialty. So mm -hmm. once you use those, and that means you're going to provide your own solutions just to get the operational needs that you thought about before. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's about it. Okay. Yeah. Next. Next is the process design. The engineering design process is a common series of steps that engineers use in creating functional products and processes. Okay, the process is highly iterative, which means part of the process often need to be repeated many times before another can be entered. Though the parts that get iterated and the number of such cycles in any given project may vary. It is a decision-making process, often iterative, in which the basic sciences mathematics and engineering sciences are applied to convert resources optimally to meet st stated objective. Among the fundamental elements of the design process are establishment of objectives and criteria, synthesis, analysis, construction, testing, and evaluation. Uh, this is the process design. So actually, if you will count this, it's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I, we have the main, actually, main 10 here. 10 stages to design. First, Identify the problem. What are you going to do first? Uh, find, wait, it's like, it's like a survey. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. you tell, like you tell something or someone what was going on. So mm -hmm. you have to conduct like a survey to get the problem. Okay. But uh, the, the main is you just have to reduce to the basic needs. Okay. What is the problem? Then yes. reduce to the basic needs. Next, we have what we call... Define the work criteria or goals. Anyone? Okay. When working with criteria and goals, we have two. 
we have the constraints. What mean? What do you mean by constraints? Um, it's like what you need to fix. Not sure. Uh, if it's or record. limits on the design option. What are the limits? Oh yeah. So, the, um, samples are the physical size. Okay, the available materials, available technology. Then of course, when you have your constraints, you have to have your goals or what we call the target for design success. Again, what you need, size or weight, ease of use, manufacturing ease, safety, and of course, your environmental concerns. Okay? Okay, sir. Next, research and gather data. So, the first and uh, all this way to research and gather data is going to library, correct? Look yes, for sir. journals, reporters, yes, yes. Te textbooks, that's correct. But what is the most common right now? What do you think is the most um, common? Um, online, I think, sir. Very good. Internet, right? Internet. Yes, the internet or the That's online. Right. So you have to check or you are looking for, number one, existing technology, new materials and applica applications. If, they, if you have similar products and, of course, related ideas, okay, when gathering data. That's the important sure. thing. Next, sure. we have gen generate a creative idea. How do you generate creative idea? Innovating, sir. Okay, and another. The most common is brainstorming. Yes, oh, yes sir, yes. Yeah. The, most, the most common is brain brainstorming. No analysis and discussion. Of course, more idea, much better, right? More than you know? one, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you have to break into parts. Okay, next. Analyze potential solution. So what's, what do you mean by that? If you have already your, your ideas, you have to analyze the potential solution. Of course, you have to narrow the list. Example, you have 10 ideas, diba? At least vote for that, the top three only. Okay, so it's easier to check how narrow the list, elim elim eliminate duplicates, ask clarifying questions, eliminate least likely candidates. Does it meet the, uh, the constraints? Diba? It requires new technology. Then the best is, of course, vote for the top three. No. Next, develop and test models. What do you mean by develop and test models? Creating a prototype. Okay, for, and good. it's going to be given out to selected few people. Yes, you have to have your own models na. Okay? It's either mathematical, computer, graphics, diagram, or physical. Then, of course, you have to test. The testing should have durability, reliability, strength, prototyping, and manufacturing or of quality. And then, of course, you have to make decision. Diba? You have to decide which, what, which is the best. Okay? B based on decision of criteria, decision of table, weighted table. Diba? If it's intangible, reduced to a cost or ranking. Okay? Then, communicate and specify. What do you mean by communicate and specify? If... Um... You can it's like you need to talk to your team yes. about the decision that you guys made. Very good. Design process and decision analysis. That's it. The plans, diba? Right? What are the specifications and who needs to approve before the project succeeds? Is it the manufacturing? Is it the sales or is it the legal? Okay? Yes, sir. Then we have implement and commercialize. Yeah, so what do you mean by implement and commercialize? Advertise. What? He said advertiser. Okay, very Advertising. good. Mm -hmm, very good. So your new team needed to bring to the market. That's correct. Advertise. Of course, you have to have a group. You have the management team, technical team, HR personnel, purchasing, marketing, sales, legal, diba? Right? Okay. And design team may also play um, small roles here. Review and assessment. 
What do you mean by review and assessment? Uh, we, ch we check your, um, I know. Wait, that's correct. You check if the project is in full production. Okay? Yeah. Check the project team release to other work and of course the product performance review. So it's just like a review and assessment. It's like, for example, rechecking the product before, um, what is that called? Releasing it to the yes. public. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, are we done? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Next, we have the chip verification and testing. So if you're involved in any ASIC, SOC design life cycle, it's highly likely that you would have heard questions like this. Have you verified the feature? Is all feature testing completed? How will you validate a new feature? What design defects were found and how? So when you say chip verification, what do you mean? Um, creating new ideas that wasn't existed before. Okay. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But this one, it focuses on chips. So chip verification and testing, the terminology is verification, validation, and testing are used inter interchangeably and can be confusing at times, at least for entry-level engineers. All of these terms thus the, relate to testing of the chip but refers to the same at different stages in a chip design and manufacturing flow. Here is what they really mean. Check the diagram. So what do you notice? This is the important part. We have the verification testing and validation this will be the output of the product so when you say verification what do you mean by verification any idea um, uh, verifying valid. the verifying the product that mm. the, that the team that the team made, then it's like an uh, answer um, input Output then process. Okay. That's what I think. Okay. Others? When you want to verify, what do you mean by verification? Um, okay, okay, in this table, like verification a process in which as a design is tested or verified against a given design specification before tape out. What do you mean by tape out? When you say tape out, it is the final result of the, the result of the design process for integrated circuits or printed circuit boards before they are sent to manufacturing. This one is chip, so it's like um, sample is so possible example is the microchip or any um, product used in semiconductor industry. Okay. Do credit cards apply to that? No, depends on what are you going to design. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. So, again, for the verification, this happens along with the development of the design and can start from time. This design architecture, this one, microarchitecture definitions happens. The main goal of the verification is to ensure functional correctness of the design before the tape out. Okay. That's the main goal of verification. Now, for validation, this one is a process in which the manufacturer design or the chip is tested for all functional correctness in a lab setup. This is done using a real chip assembled on a test board or reference board along with all other component parts of the system for which the chip was designed for. The goal is to validate all uses, all cases of the chip that the customer might eventually have in a true deployment and qualify the design for all these usage models for validation. Of course, for the testing, involves screening manufactured chips for faults or random defects, reliability, functional defects, and electrical characterization before volume shipment. Okay, so first verification, validation, validate, validation and then the testing. Once that, that, that are done, we have the volume shipment. Oh, so it's just like test. Yes. First, you have to verify, check. Then you have to validate. Yeah. Okay, once I validate, okay, this is good. Then I have to test. Then if it's working, then deploy. Advertise. Oh, okay. mm. Another thing, we have also the embedded system. Are you familiar with the embedded system? 
Um, actually, anyway, so an embedded system is a controller with a dedicated function within a larger mechanical or electrical system, often with real-time computing constraints. It's embedded as part of a complete device, often including hardware and mechanical parts. Embedded systems controls many devices in common use today. Okay. Actually, the, the definition of embedded system is actually very simple. A device which is not a traditional computer, but has a computing device integrated into it which control its operation. You want an example? Example, you have the microwave. Are you familiar with microwave? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, sir. Diba? Yes. Did you see the, uh, no? uh, you have an option there to click the time, check the temperature, oh, yeah. start and play. That is what we call oh. embedded system. Okay, you don't you, you don't necessarily need to have a computer to control it, right? You it just, just comes with it. Yes, that's it. That's what you call embedded system. You have to embed a program or a system on that particular uh, equipment. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's it. So an embedded system performs a very specific function. This system contains a single program that executes all the function required. So 98% of all microprocessors manufactured are used in embedded system. Now we have software engineering. So a software engineer is a person who applies the principles of software engineering to the design, development, maintenance, testing, and evaluation of computer software. Prior to the mid-1970s, software practitioners generally called themselves computer scientists, computer programmers, software developers, regardless of their actual jobs. Many people prefer to call themselves software developer and programmer because most widely agree what these terms mean while the exact meaning of software engineer is still being debated. So, if, so it's clear? Is it clear? I'm trying to oh, yes, sir. a little bit. Yes, sir. Okay. So, yeah, basically, you just have a no. Okay. This and okay. So, that's it. So, this is the coverage of uh, week eight, right? Uh, week eight and nine.